Hey everybody, and welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz. Jack and Letty are still back in Lake Jackson because COVID's still a thing. And Happy New Year's! This is going to be my first video after New Year's. I apologize, it's been a couple of weeks because family's been sick and a lot of stuff going on. So, I know a lot of people are like, hey, it's New Year, new me, you can lose some weight, which let's be honest I could I could do the same thing so we're gonna start off with like a nice regular salad a lot of people are like hey what kind of salads and there's all kind of stuff now this one is the uh, the mother child reunion stuff we'll get into that why while we're doing it but uh this is gonna be great before we start be sure to like share subscribe ring the little bell do all the YouTube -y stuff look for our merch stuff we're gonna have a link down on the doobly doo man for our aprons our uh, fake hands oven mitts spatulas flippers and Spoons, we got a spoon too. <laughs> Be sure to check all that stuff out, man. Let us know if you like that kind of stuff. And uh, let's just get into it, man. So, all right, uh, gonna go in two parts here. First part is what you're gonna need to cook. You wanna boil two eggs, so you're gonna need a little bit of water too. I uh, just enough to cover those in a pot. Uh, chicken breast, we're gonna use two or three. Usually it's just one for each person. Uh, don't need to use this whole pack to show what I got. Salt and pepper to taste, and a little bit of garlic powder again to taste. Uh, it's just so you don't just have bland chicken. Once you get all that stuff, now let's get into the typical salad stuff. Uh, you're going to need lettuce. going to use about half of it for every two people, so that'll break down. I'm only going to use half. Uh, tomatoes, I use these little ones, so I don't have to cut that much. I'm not a fan of big squishy ones. Onion, you're only going to cut a little bit of this, so I don't. it's not even a cup. And some uh, carrots. Uh, I got these for like 99 cents, just for the little one, baby ones, which are already skinned and clean, so that's great. Uh, mushrooms, if, again, this is optional, if you're not into mushrooms, don't do it. Uh, just be sure to clean those, uh, and you can get the pre-sliced ones too. I lucked out and got some real bacon, not bacon-flavored bits, for about a dollar. So we're going to throw that in there. And then, uh, croutons, uh, the <laughs> stale bread bits. We're going to get some of that because I found them for like a buck. So this fits our budget pretty well. Uh, and then your salad dressing. You can make it from scratch, you can get one or the other. I use a lot of the balsamic stuff on my chicken-infused salads. But it's up to you which one to use. Now, get you a little bit of water, start that up on your pot, let that start to warm up. Also, you're going to need a little bit of butter. I forgot to tell you about that. About a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of butter just to get your chicken kicked off. Don't have to have it. I use it just for the flavor. But let that go ahead and warm up. While that's doing that, let's go ahead and get your chicken breast. Now, again, maybe one chicken breast, depending on the size of the breast. You see the difference there. Uh... Um, one breast per person is generally how I cut these up. Now you can leave them in these long strips if you're not that picky. Uh, I'm going to try to stretch the salad out a little bit, so I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces. Try to cube it, I guess would be the easiest way to do it. Uh, that's butter stuck at the end of my knife there before anybody says anything. Now that you got that nice and cut up and cubed up, uh, let's just go back to our skillet. And it's nice and warmed up. Now my oven isn't balanced, so everything runs to one side. So I got to kind of dump it to one side there. Sorry. Uh, but I am broke. So just go ahead and throw your chicken right in there. Like I said, medium to medium high. Your water in the back, you should probably have it about high to get that up to the boiling. Uh, once it starts to form the bubbles is when I go ahead and throw my eggs in there. Your meat, be sure to just stir it around. Put the meat on the metal, man. Let it start to cook. You want to brown it. This is where you're going to add your seasoning stuff. Uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper to taste. I don't do a lot of salt. I like a lot of pepper and uh, garlic powder myself. I think it's healthier that way too, but... A little bit of salt helps them bring out that flavor and that stuff, so that always helps. Uh, I get the stuff that's in the grinder because it makes me feel fancy because I can put my pinky out while I'm doing it. <laughs> so just keep cooking this until it starts browning. You'll see it. Be sure to keep turning it. Don't just let it cook when it starts to whiten and or gray. Like I've had somebody say, well, it never browned. It just turned white, so they threw it out. So it'll turn white or gray first, and then it'll start to brown. So just keep cooking it. Now, water, like I said, it's starting to bubble. Put your eggs in there very gently so you don't crack them. Be careful because that's still hot water. That's why it's steaming. So when you get in there, you're going to let them sit for about two minutes. Once it starts to boil, it's going to get you a nice uh, soft boil. Be sure to clean your cutting board because you had raw chicken on it before you mess with your vegetables. Now you're starting to get that nice brown on your chicken. You've had two minutes worth of that boil on your eggs. We'll pull those off once they've been in there for two minutes. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, okay. So... <laughs> It started brown, go ahead and turn that off, pull it off the heat and let it sit. Doesn't have to be all over brown. Now your eggs, like I said, they've been in there for two minutes. I want a nice soft boil. So pull them out and put them in a bowl of cold water, not cold water. And it helps to peel them from what I understand. I, I think it just cools them down so I don't burn the piss out of myself when I'm trying to peel an egg. Go ahead and turn that water off and go ahead and get the rest of them. Now, uh, 
get you a big honking bowl if you got one or a really big plate or something and then all your veg go wash your veg wash that first all right they, they got all this stuff nice and cleaned now we're going to start with the lettuce uh, you don't want this root thing down at the bottom go ahead and cut that off now again it's about half a head of lettuce per two people so it's just going to be me so i'm just going to use half one to show you how to do it now you can take it and pull this apart after you cut it in half and that's fine but sometimes you get those really big leaves in there you know and it's just a whole face full of lettuce i like to go ahead and cut it down with a knife or if you have it just a pair of scissors because it cuts it into smaller bites which is nice you can cut it that way uh but for two people i go ahead and cut it down a little smaller Mostly because I don't want people you know, trying to stretch their whole face out to try to get that one piece of lettuce in their mouth or whatever. So I'll go ahead and cut that down again the other way. Just throw this in the bottom of your bowl. This is your basis of your salad. <laughs> or the base, The I guess. The foundation of a good salad is lettuce. Uh, don't come at me with kale because kale tastes bitter. It tastes like butt and it it's not happy. Uh, get to the rest of your lettuce. You can put it in plastic and set it aside. Now, your onion, I'm only going to use a little bit. You don't want to over-onion your salad because it can't be overpowered, especially because it's raw onion. So just cut you a single ring out of this. Now, I didn't cut a straight one. You can kind of see it's really thick on one side and kind of thin at the other. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, man. That's just life. It, as long as it's it's cut, tastes like onions, you're good. Just cut it up into smaller pieces. Be sure to break these apart as you're throwing them in so you don't have giant hunks of onion in there. Uh, we'll get into uh, how to toss a proper salad okay, later when we go to dress this up. So slice up your onion, break it up as best you can. Uh, eat whatever won't fit in there. Um, so. Now, tomatoes, like I said, I don't like the big ones because they get nice and squishy and they just got tomato juice everywhere. So these I'll take and I'll cut in half. That way you don't have to chase them around with your fork. They'll slide all over the place, square it out from underneath your fork and just be a pain in the neck. But if you cut them in half, there, there's a place for your fork to grab. So go ahead and do this. This might take a minute. So through the magic of time travel on film, I'm going to cut the rest of these tomatoes in a hurry but uh, don't have to you can leave them in their hole if you feel like it if you want to have your tomatoes have a fighting chance if you're doing them uh, again mushrooms these are giant raw mushrooms be sure they are clean clean everything uh, that's just the color of the bruising that's on there you can cut them into smaller pieces i don't mind having these bigger chunks in there especially because they soak up uh, the dressing and they pick up that whole flavor stuff in there so i just put the whole package in there now carrots you can get the big ones and skin them all down and cut them up or you can get these little baby ones and just throw them in there like you're good like if these are good to hand to your kid to let them chew on it you can put this in a salad you can cut them into smaller pieces if you need to but eh, if they're good to eat just go ahead and throw them in there uh i used i think half to two-thirds of one of these packs they're supposed to, they're labeled as snack packs i got them for 80 something cents for your carrots they're a nice cheap easy way to do it now your eggs they should be nice and cool now uh you want to pull all this shell off it's gonna take a little bit i still haven't found a proper way to do this people say put them in vinegar or something just beat on the outside pull the shell off take your time be sure to get it all out there now like i said we put it in there for two minutes so it's a nice soft boil so it's got the yolk that's a little runny but it's not going to be all over the place so you slice it it's still kind of solid uh not a giant fan of egg but this is the family reunion part where you put the egg and the chicken together see because it's a, it's a baby chicken so whatever all right so now we get it to toss the salad get you your talent salad tongs talent tongs <laughs> Get your salad tongs and give it a little bit of a toss from the outside. Don't do it a lot because it's going to knock all your big stuff, your heavier stuff like tomatoes, mushrooms, and stuff down to the bottom of the bowl. So you just want to give it a nice stir so you're not just getting one big handful of lettuce or one big handful of all mushroom or whatever. It's a slight turn. Now, I never put my chicken in there because it falls to the bottom and you miss a lot of that. So here's how we're going to dress it. Uh, the salad's all mixed, but the meat and everything is still off the other side. Uh, depends on how big your tongs are if you have them or your spoon or your salad or just your bare hand as long as you clean it uh, i put two or three in these just cover the bottom of my plate i don't want it piled up where i'll have to fight the dressing because the dressing doesn't get to the stuff at the bottom i guess we're not going to drown it i'll get to that in a minute so once you get that out there get some of your chicken put it on top you go ahead and top it with this you don't have to mix it in any of that kind of stuff uh, this just sits on top looks beautiful tastes great it's one of the first things you grab it's what you're going to be picked through the salad for anyway uh, get your croutons, <laughs> croutons, your stale bread bits. Again, optional. Just put these around. I think these were like the garlic butter ones. Uh, just to give you something in there where I won't eat next to you because it'll crunch. Now put your uh, the bacon bits on there. Sprinkle them on there because like my dad says, it's not a salad unless there's two or three kinds of meat on it. <laughs> Again, optional stuff. Now I'm using the vinaigrette. The thing about a vinaigrette or an Italian thing, you got to just shake a little crap out of it. Makes everything else up. Now here's the deal. 
don't drown your salad in the dressing. You want it all to have flavors of everything. If you put too much dressing and it's swimming around in it, you won't taste it. You're only going to get the dressing and it's going to be bad. Unless you just really like dressing, you should just put a straw in it. But there you have it, man. That is it. It's our funnily named family reunion because it's got chicken and eggs in it. <laughs> salad. Uh, I don't know the calories or anything on it, but this was right at our budget. But it made enough. It's going to feed me for two or three days or it's a whole family one night of 40 people easily. Uh, this is outstanding. If you're really into salad stuff or you want to try something different, this is a little lighter. This isn't as fat heavy. I think maybe the butter might have <laughs> helped a little bit. But this is outstanding. You need to try this. Man. And there you have it, folks. Like super basic salad with chicken in it. Uh, with our overly entitled title, I think. <laughs> so that's great. You do it differently, man. If you'd like to see it done differently, let us know. Hit us up, do another thing. I will revisit some talents, man. I have no problem with that. Put it down in the comments or you can find us on social media. You can also find us on Facebook, Patreon, Pinterest. Shout out to all our patrons. Thank you. You can find us, all three of those, at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram at Living Between. And uh, I'll see you next time, man. Check out our merch, too. Shameless plug over. I'm going to go eat salad. <laughs>